Building 7 in the World Trade Center complex is on fire and has either collapsed or is collapsing. Is Building 7 at the World Trade Center and uh, that building is in danger of collapse as it continues to burn. According to authorities at this moment here in Lower Manhattan, and that is the growing fear that another building in the World Trade Center complex, which was not struck by an airplane, is in danger of collapsing. Medical student, he was down there, he was trying to help people. His name is Daryl. Yeah, uh, so I was just standing there, uh, you know, we were watching the building actually because it was on fire, the, uh, the bottom floors of the building were on fire and, uh, you know, we heard this, this sound, it sounded like a clap of thunder, turned around, we were shocked to see that the building was, uh, uh, well, it looked like there was um, a shock wave uh, ripping through the building. There's still concern about a building right there. Uh, and the windows all uh, busted out and, you know, it was horrifying. Then, uh, one of those buildings, uh, building a Seven, seven, I believe, I believe we said, is, in yes. danger of collapsing. Miller realizes that Seven World Trade Center is next to fall. See where the white smoke is? You see this thing leaning like this? It's definitely going to There's no way to stop it. No tall building had ever collapsed primarily due to fire. But that's exactly what investigators believe happened to the 47-story World Trade Center Building 7 on September. Had moved back from that building before, which you're about to see again here on videotape, knowing that fire could not be fought because of the instability of the structure, because of the, the fire that had burned since shortly after 9 o'clock this morning. Dana Tyler is joining us. Looking like a preschool just moved to cover the glass and I swear to God. What are you going to put you in there? That's a good shit. Then we went back there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Two. If anybody out there can help, any vendors who have food or supplies, the firemen have no food, nothing but snacks. They need fluids, they need water, and they need protein, foods. This is just the beginning of what they're facing. So we're And we need masks. We need TB masks. Holy shit! What is it? It just went down. What just went down? World Trade 7. Now, here we're going to show you a videotape of the collapse itself. That now we go to videotape the collapse of this building. It's amazing. A, a, amazing, incredible, pick your word. For the third time today, it's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed, destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. Engineers are not just focusing on the Twin Towers. The most disturbing structural event was not that the Twin Towers fell, but that Tower 7, ignited by flying debris, fell due to fire alone. Building, the failure of the building was an implosion. So it failed completely different than Towers 1 and 2, in which the floors failed first. About an hour after the actual explosion, which was about 9.15 in the morning, if you wanted to calculate a time to cause maximum disruption, you would calculate that time. It's the start of the working day and perhaps the biggest, busiest complex uh, in the world. This is Building 7 in the World Trade Center uh, area is, is collapsing. Uh, now, now whether, uh, we, don't, we, we don't even know whether this was uh, something that was uh, engineered for safety reasons or it just happened uh, as a consequence of the, the two collisions this morning. since the, the most recent collapse, which happened just a short while ago, Building 7, a 47-story building as part of the World Trade Center complex, collapsed. 
That building had been, we were told, completely evacuated. But the fate of people on the ground, including rescue workers, as it came tumbling down, we simply don't know. But it had been threatening to collapse, it had been on the verge of collapse for a long while, so perhaps, perhaps, most of the area had been evacuated, but who could have anticipated this kind of incredibly dense Late this afternoon, just before 5.30 p.m., the number seven building at the World Trade Center also collapsed. NBC. You should move out of your um, apartment, Fabiana. Yes. You've got Carolina here. Yes. Um, they, they advise us to leave because we have... Oh, my God. Look behind us. Please pan in this way. Please be careful of your baby. This is it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. No. We're... Listen. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We're okay. I think we're okay. Ashley, I think we're okay. All right. We're going to have to move this way. We're going to have to move. We're going to have to move. That cloud is coming this way. Yeah. Ashley, get out of there. Leave the camera. ...by police that you should move out of your um, apartment, Fabiana. You've got Carolina here. Yes. Um... They, they advise us to leave because we have... Oh, my God. Look behind us. Please pan in this way. Please be careful of your baby. This is it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. No. We're... There are going to be a lot of claims and counterclaims in the course of the next 24 hours or so. I refer to... like seven World Trade Center just collapsed. Look at this. Unbelievable. That's gonna come here. I told you that sucker was going to go. That's coming here, isn't it? What, the cloud? Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. A 47-story skyscraper. It's converted all of its gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. Therefore, it can't crush the 40,000 tons of structural steel that's holding it up. And fall. Yeah. Rick used time-lapse mode to conserve tape, so two seconds of real-time recording is followed by a six-second pause. The first footage is shortened and speeded up to get straight to the collapse.
Here's an update now from the 1010 Winds Newsroom. Any later tonight, we expect to hear from President Bush that this was also, that plane was debuted. And here's Matt Ward. There could be difficulties around the area. New Jersey Transit outbound Auto Good Terminal operating on a load and go basis, no inbound service, and also out of Newark Fed Station, limited service on the Northeast Carter and North Jersey uh, coastline. Look at it now as you uh, continue to describe what you have seen. We're looking at the tape now, Joe. Okay, good. Uh, this once again happened only within the last few minutes. We saw one command center, the original command center called the bunker, was housed inside Seven World Trade Center. That building collapsed on September 11th after burning much of the day. The first bunker cost $13 million. It was built to withstand hurricane strength. The World Trade Center, according to Con Edison, potentially dangerous chemicals were kept in Seven World Trade Center. Con Ed says before that building collapsed, it housed 109,000 gallons of oil and hundreds of pounds of potentially dangerous chemicals in two electrical substations. This Succumbed to a raging oil fire within and fell to the ground. I didn't see any reason for that building to fall down the way it did. And a lot of guys should be saying the same thing. Watching all day, this is like watching the collapse of an active volcano, and the dust uh, from it is is not unlike that from a volcano. We are on the phone with uh, New York Fire Department Lieutenant uh, David Restuccio. Lieutenant, where are you right now? I'm at the corner of Norm Northmore Street and Greenwich Street. Can you confirm it was number seven that just went in? Yes, sir. Uh, and you were you guys knew this was coming all day. We had, been ha we had heard reports that the building was unstable and that it eventually would either come down on its own or it would be taken down. I would imagine it came down and on its own. And uh, we are just awaiting now at our triage for any other casualties or any other injuries. Everybody all right where you are, Lieutenant? Very, very much so. They actually used the word brought down, and who was it that was telling you this? The fire department. The fire department. And um, they did use the word, we're going to have to bring it, we're going to have to bring it down. And for us, there, um, observing the nature of the devastation, it was, it made total sense to us that this was indeed a, a possibility. He says, well, you got to stay behind this line because they're thinking about bringing the building down. They didn't say what building. They just said bringing a building down. So we're like, okay, you know, we'll, we'll take their word before it. You know, we'll stay behind the line. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. For the first time, we have shown that fire can induce a progressive collapse.